So, every day Sonic Origins get closer to release, and today we've gotten some more news about it, which we need to talk about. So, a few hours ago, Tails Channel tweeted a video of some new Sonic Origins gameplay, which I will play here. So yeah, a lot to unpack. So I'd say the first noticeable thing is the drop dash being in Sonic 1. Well, in fact, all the games in Anniversary mode. But I'm getting ahead of myself here, so let's just continue. So, this one's really cool. So it is confirmed that Super Sonic will be in Sonic 1 in Origins. And this makes me very happy because maybe Labyrinth Zone won't be such a slog to get through. Now this little clip here shows that we can play as Knuckles with Tails, just like how in the original Sonic 2, we can play as Sonic with Tails along our side as well. Now I think this is a really cool addition, seeing as you couldn't do this in the original mobile port of the game. Now the last section of this little clip that we get is basically like showing off the uh, side missions that we can play in all of the games. Now it seems they're taking the Generations approach, where you need to do something and then do it in a certain amount of time to get the rank you want. And I will say the only disappointment seems that it is just like a certain part of the level and sort of like completely different layout in like a, a type of theming like how Generations did the challenges for the keys. But other than that it does look pretty fun. Now here's some additional information also tweeted from Tails channel. So as we can see here the tweet reads new blue sphere mode confirmed, dedicated button for super forms and drop dash exclusive to anniversary mode. So I'm going to assume that the new blue sphere mode is kind of like how Mania did it, where the where it was like green orbs and he touched them, and then they go blue and he touched them again and then they go red, which is actually pretty cool. Now I feel like the super form being dedicated to a separate button was basically a must really, because now we can drop dash and insta shield at will without turning into super sonic. Speaking of the drop dash, the drop dash will now be in every single game, only anniversary mode though, which I guess makes sense, but it would be nice to have like a feature where you could toggle it on and off. Yeah, but you can't get everything I suppose. And that is about it really, yeah, not too much information and it's a pretty short video as well. Well, I guess I could have talked about the menu, but eh, it's just a menu, it doesn't really matter all too much. And I know we didn't really hear a lot of it, but what we heard was pretty nice. And that's just about it for this video. Um, it's pretty short, but there wasn't really much to talk about, so... Uh, make sure to subscribe for more Sonic content like this. Um, and yeah, that's about it, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!